You have learned at school that your immune cells always protect you. Well, good. In most cases, that's right. However, we know of immune cells which are detrimental and can make you ill. We call these cells myeloid regulatory cells, or short, MRC, and we have studied them scientifically. Our biggest challenge has been that in different laboratories and in different diseases, these cells are studied using slightly different methods and techniques. Here the cost network funding of the European Union comes into the picture. In 2014, we founded our My Uniter Action and created collaborations, networks and standardized methods to be able to better understand these complex immune cells. The reason for establishing this network was to bring together the research communities working on the different cell types with the research communities working on the different diseases in one common network. Now, after four years, we have launched pan-European studies which tell us a lot more about the biology of these diverse cells and how we can target them in cancer, infection and inflammation. This has enabled us to understand other myeloid cells, both in cancer, but in also other diseases such as infectious diseases or in autoimmunity. And this has been a very valuable exercise. Here we have a patient who, for example, has cancer. In our research centers, together with clinical colleagues and with the approval of consenting patients, we obtain tissue material or blood samples for research purposes. In the lab, we analyze the function of immune cells, including our MRC cells. The MyUnita network now enables us to compare the same type of cell in different diseases and collate our results in laboratories and research centers all over Europe. Young scientists have been trained in so-called short-term scientific missions, training schools and workshops to perform these studies. What I really like about STSM is the direct interaction with the other laboratories because you really learn why people do the experiments in the way that they do them. As a result of these activities, we have started a study called MyMMI, which stands for MyUniter Myeloid Derived Suppressor Cell Immunomonitoring Initiative. MyMMI is uh, an integrated way to standardize myeloid derived suppressor cells uh, in cancer, inflammation and autoimmune disease. In cancer patients, certain tumor factors are released into the circulation and lead to changes in white blood cells. We have developed laboratory protocols to measure these changes in a standardized and reproducible fashion. In the future, we hope to use this knowledge to better select the optimal therapy for each individual patient. We were very fortunate to join the Mindeniter um, uh, network and cost action in 2015 in the uh, meeting in Bruno because we really stumbled into neutrophils that uh, we were not expert to and the MyUniter context allow us to really get uh, a lot of input from experts in the field and so on and this really uh, shaped our story and allowed shortening of the time from um, discovery to publication. MyMac is a group of people who are interested in macrophages, hence the name Mac, but who are not necessarily experts in macrophages. So MyMac tries to update the knowledge of these people so that they can apply this knowledge in their own model systems. The fact that MDSCs are present in this infection raise the appealing possibility to modulate them to actually um, design host-directed therapies which target MDSCs. 
In many diseases, hijacked and manipulated myeloid regulatory cells no longer protect the patient, but rather promote the disease. They enter the diseased tissue to inhibit protective immunity, cause immunopathology, promote tumor growth, or cause resistance to therapy. In our preclinical research, we are developing strategies to block this cellular entry and activity with the aim to translate this knowledge to human patients. The scientific value of consortia like this is that it really broadens your view. And uh, this broader view brings you to the edges of a scientific field. And I think there is where a lot of excitement happens. And this will, in the end, also increase your output. Our members come from 25 countries in and around Europe and have all contributed to different aspects of the network. The cost for me means the cooperation across the Europe. I have the opportunity to collaborate with colleagues who are very high professional in similar areas as I do. We all know that research is executed in laboratories and by people using technology, but uh, research also benefits a lot from the exchange of uh, knowledge, ideas and technologies between different laboratories. And that is exactly the purpose why we uh, founded this network, to promote myelid research and network. What is the bottom line of the science behind our studies? We are interested in the different functions that immune cells can have in infectious or malignant diseases.